All right, so I'm here at the Roosevelt Island Health, Wellness, and Disability Fair, which was organized by Wendy Hirsch of the Disabled Association, Lisa Fernandez, and Yelissa Santana of the Carter Burden Network Roosevelt Island Older Adult Program Center. Yay! So ladies, oh. could you tell me what was happening here today, please? Sure, so uh, once a year, Roosevelt Island Disabled Association does a disability fair. Carter Burden does a health fair, so we decided to merge it and do it together to make it more successful. So we have um, a lot of various disabilities. Um, we have home care and senior care agencies. We have 30 uh, and actually, about oh, okay. including so, us, right, as an agency, all of the individuals. And agencies. REAC actually collaborated with us on. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have been able to get the tables and the chairs. Um, we have the 114th here with Safe Horizon. Um, he has a lot of programs that he's going to bring to the senior center and the disabled association, like scam, um, you know, scamming. Uh, we have some of the politicians represented, Mark Levine's office, Rebecca Sebae. Um, what were some of the organizations that were here? Ms. Kruger's office is here. Oh, Ms. Kruger. Well. That was the other one. We have the Lupus Epilepsy Institute, Access VR. We have, which is a surprise, the mayor's office for people with disabilities. So state and city actually got together. Um, we have, do you want to name some uh, We have Cher. We have New York Roadrunners, we also have Help First, the Dallas, um, BNS. BNS. Seniors. And some of our community groups like RISA, the Roosevelt Island Senior Association is here as well, the library, uh, like you said, Road Runners, which does a great fitness program every Thursday in the Senior Center, 10.30 in the morning, and Cornell, Wow Cornell. So both, I think we're covering lots of areas. We're covering vision loss, hearing loss, medical, total medical. There's can two cancer agencies represented, Alzheimer's, the one Sloan Kettering. Yes, yeah, so I was just going to talk about Sloan Catering because they agreed to come here and do some cancer screening, um, and which is, I mean, that's great. I mean, I think that's really needed here. We also had three uh, little mini fitness programs. We had Roadrunners did uh, a program with sticks and movement and dancing. It's all part of their body movement. We had Jacks from on Omni Ohm do a meditation med session. And you can see behind us, Barbara ha Parker has a, a Pilates, a standing Pilates program going on. So we're trying to incorporate mind, body, and mental all together. Mm -hmm. And people who come here will get information from the various vendors. It's, a, it's like a resource fair. Mm -hmm. um, they even have people, um, food bank came, which is where we get our food from for the uh, pantry. They're actually signing, helping people sign up for SNAP benefits. Oh, which is great. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And then we got Sydney who could refer. It's more like referral programs. And then we have a resource table with people that could have the office of mental health, um, uh, multiple sclerosis. Yeah, right, right. So, and if people weren't able to attend, but they want to follow up and get more information, what could they do? I just walked by two tables, and they said this is the best health fair they've ever been to, which is great. I give us all a pat on the oh, back. thank you. If people need more information, they'll probably use stuff so you can forget in touch with Carter Burton. Or just or come into the Senior yeah. Center. We have an information table right. at the Senior Center as well, so I'm sure we'll take this information and add it to our information table in the Senior Center. All right, great. Thank you very much, thank and you, uh, you, great you. job. Thanks.